Did you hear the news? The European Union banned glitter. It's not only glitter that's banned, it's everything containing tiny plastic particles. That includes even our beloved body scrubs. Now by 2030, we will reduce microplastic pollution by 30%, preventing 500,000 tons of plastic from finding its way into our ocean. Now, that's a great step towards a clean environment, but what about the sparkle we love? With glitter out of the way, there is a shiny alternative in the spotlight, cellulose nanocrystals. Cellulose nanocrystals are sustainable, biodegradable, and tough. They're derived from cellulose, and you can think of them as short, rigid rods of crystalline cellulose. Now you might wonder, why aren't they already taking over the market? Well, here's the twist. Um, the production of those cellulose nanocrystals are um, leading in very low yields of 25%, which is limiting their widespread use. That's where we come in. Um, our process is very mild and simple. Working with electrochemists, we have achieved an impressive yield of 80%, a massive improvement over the current standard. First, we use an acid gas to turn cellulose into those cellulose nanocrystals. Then we use electricity to modify the surface of those nanocrystals, making them more stable. This whole process takes place in water, and essentially we need only two components, an acid gas for the hydrolysis and a catalyst for the electrochemistry. Both of these two components we have shown to be recyclable, which makes our entire process more sustainable. And here's the exciting part. Cellulose nanocrystals are more than just sparkles. We can use their incredible potential in cutting-edge applications from crafting body tissue to accelerating wound healing or um, in robust materials. So cellulose nanocrystals are the spark of innovation and sustainability that's lightening up the future. Let's make a sustainable cellulose nanocrystal production reality. Thank you.